Okay, the Jewish holiday of Passover begins on Wednesday, and if you are looking for a new recipe to wow your guests for this year's Seder, guess what? We've got you covered. I'm here with cookbook author Eitan Bernath, a Teaneck, New Jersey native. Way to go. I'm a Jersey guy through and oh, through really? as well. Yeah, that's why we had you on today. And the <laughs> principal culinary contributor on the Drew Barrymore Show, so it's great to have you back here. And yes. Thanks for being with us. So Thank let's you. talk about this, because it looks great, and I'm just yes. walking up on the set right now. What do you have prepared for So us? we're going to make a citrus pavlova. Oh, now, please. the great thing about pavlova Pavlovas are is they're naturally kosher for Passover, so you know we don't have to worry about any of those like weird fake flowers or anything. This is great year-round and on Passover. Fantastic. Is it tough to prepare, or are we going to make this easy? For no, you? super easy. Yeah, yeah. We basically we literally just have our two meringues over here, and then while we're chatting, I'm just going to garnish it, and it's that easy. If you had to pick some favorite dishes for Passover, what would they be? My grandma Linda's chicken soup. So okay. every year, my grandma Linda makes a huge batch of chicken soup. My dad makes the matzo balls, and they're like a power team. And my mom does a little extra cooking, but yeah. honestly, the chicken soup lots of balls is enough. So is everybody usually excited to come see you on holidays because you know what you're doing in the kitchen or what? Yes, or is to, it be, a family to be honest yeah. though, I do the least cooking out of anyone. When I'm home, uh, you know, I work in food all the time. Yeah, so when I'm home for the holiday, it's kind of nice to, you know, be the eater rather yeah. than the one who cooks. So how will you be celebrating the holiday this year? Um, I'll be going home with my family. I'm actually going to be right here right before Passover, um, just on the other side of the set. I'm <laughs> filming an episode of Drew. Okay. Um, and then I'm rushing home and I'm going to be celebrating with my family in Jersey. And I'm very, very very excited. And everybody's still in Jersey? Yes, everyone's still in Jersey. I live in the city, but my family's fantastic, in Jersey. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, so let's uh, let's see. So what's what's our base here? So we have, so this is a meringue base right okay. over here. So that's just egg whites and sugar, a little bit of cornstarch, some vanilla, and then yep. I'm topping it with some whipped cream. Now, if you're making this for the Seder, you can also obviously use non-dairy whipped cream. Yep. And then over here, this is a citrus curd. This is what I was wondering. Oh, what yes. Is this? So, so this is citrus curd. This is a mixture of some lemon zest, lemon juice. We have some orange in here as well. You're just going to drizzle that over the top. That'll so give it's you really some kind of an informal thing. You just kind of throw oh, it Oh, yes, they're to thrown be, together, you know. yeah. And then you're going to take, this is just a Sakara Cara orange, which is nice and vibrant. Top with some orange. We'll top it with some of our grapefruit. And then, just to show you cool technique, how yeah. you can make these beautiful shapes, we're just going to take our peeled orange, just, just cut careful, right like that. Cutting, yeah. Be careful. We have a little beautiful blood orange, just like that. And this will give you, like, the perfect garnish right on top. Not only is the taste of a blood orange good, but it adds a nice little bit of <laughs> it's color beautiful. to it as well. Yeah. It's really, it's a, it's a good-looking fruit. Beautiful. Just go like that, right on there, and then garnished, and you can just cut a nice piece. Is this, is this one of your stock your stock favorites, though? Yes. I mean, is this kind of one that we can count on yes, every it's year like, at it's, your it's a little messy, but, like, messy is okay, good. Okay, messy yeah. good, right? Whatever. This is why I have aprons. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, not a problem. Can I give this a shot? You yes, might? let's give it a try. Rude. All right, here we go. Focus, folks. Mm. That was a human bite, too. That was really good. Right? Mm. That is really good. Now, this can be an appetizer, a main order, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or anything, right? Breakfast, a little 9 a.m. breakfast. This is really fantastic. So how long to prepare for something? Like, to get the meringue and all that done, what are we looking from? The so it cooks for about two hours, very low and slow. But you could just start this in the morning, let it cook, and then you usually just assemble it once it hits mealtime. I'll tell you, this is fantastic as well. Thank you. And exactly, take me through that again. What is the, the ingredients that are in this? The curd, it is, it's zest, it's cornstarch, it's lemon juice, it's butter, you can also use margarine, um, and it just kind of comes together into this great curd. That's fantastic. Now, will you be doing the cooking um, this holiday season, or do you, uh, do you del I mean, do you basically delegate to some other people? Yeah, my, my mom and dad will be doing most of it, but I, I have some things I plan to help out with, but yeah. I'm, I'm busy with work before the holiday, and on the holiday, I'll, I'll do some help. I see you've got a cookbook there as well. Yes, my cookbook, eight times Eats the World uh, came out last May. It's yep. almost the year anniversary, uh, and it's full of recipes, comfort foods from around the world. It's available everywhere books are sold. Fantastic. This is really, really great. We really appreciate you coming. I can't believe how good this tastes. I really didn't know. You know, I'm not a huge sweets fan anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just but, sweet enough, not too sweet. Is, exactly. It's not too much. It's just enough. And Eitan, we thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. Happy holiday thank you for having me. For more me. Passover recipes and to learn more about Eitan and his cookbook, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, and we will be right back.